Listen to this. Right now, you could fly to Egypt, stand in front of the Great Pyramid, and you'd be looking at something that shouldn't exist. Not because it's impossible, but because we still can't explain how Bronze Age humans built it. The Great Pyramid contains 2.3 million stone blocks. Each one weighs as much as a car. Some weigh as much as 50 cars. Here's the crazy part. There's more stone in this one pyramid than in all the medieval cathedrals of Europe. Combined. And they built it without. Cranes. Steel tools. Or even the wheel as we know it. So immediately, we have a problem. Walk up to the pyramid, run your hand along the stones. Some of the joints are so tight you literally cannot fit a razor blade between them. Not a credit card. Not a piece of paper. A razor blade. Now here's where it gets weird. The traditional explanation? Ramps. Just, drag the stones up big ramps. Simple, right? Wrong. To reach the top of the Great Pyramid with a straight ramp, you'd need a ramp over a mile long. That's longer than the pyramid itself. And here's the kicker, we've never found evidence these ramps existed. Some scientists say spiral ramps. Others say counterweights. Some even suggest water-based systems with lubricated sand. But here's what modern engineers actually say. Rebuilding the Great Pyramid today would be extraordinarily difficult, even with modern machinery. So how did they do it 4,500 years ago? Nobody knows for sure. But that's just the beginning. Because what I'm about to tell you is even stranger. The Great Pyramid is aligned to true north with an error of less than 0.05 degrees. Let me put that in perspective for you. That's more accurate than the Paris Observatory. More accurate than many modern buildings. More accurate than most construction today. The sides are almost perfectly equal in length. The base is level to within less than an inch across 13 acres. They achieved surveying precision that rivals modern laser equipment. But remember, no compasses, no GPS, no satellites, no computers. So how? They use the stars. The shafts inside the Great Pyramid? They don't just point randomly into the rock. They line up exactly with specific stars, including Orion's belt. The same constellation the Egyptians associated with Osiris, their god of the afterlife. But it gets weirder. Some researchers noticed something incredible. The three pyramids of Giza, their layout on the ground, mirrors the pattern of Orion's belt in the sky. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe the Egyptians were building a map of the heavens on Earth. Because to them, the afterlife wasn't a vague concept. It was a real place. A destination. And the pyramids? They might have been machines, designed to guide the pharaoh's soul to the stars. Now here's something that'll mess with your head. Nobody's ever found a mummy inside the Great Pyramid. Think about that. This massive structure. Supposedly a tomb. But. No mummy. No burial inscriptions. No treasure. No proof it was ever used as a tomb. And the internal design is. Bizarre. Narrow shafts that go nowhere. Hidden chambers discovered using cosmic rays in 2017. A massive granite box in the king's chamber that's too big to fit through the corridors. Which means it had to be placed there before the pyramid was finished. So what was this really for? Some say symbolic. Others say ceremonial. And then there are theories about sound resonance, energy amplification, unexplained ritual functions. None of that's proven. But the questions are real. For centuries, everyone knew the pyramids were built by slaves. Turns out? Completely wrong. Archaeological evidence shows these were skilled laborers. Well-fed. Housed. Organized. They took pride in their work. This wasn't slavery, it was a national project. An entire civilization, unified around one goal. Building something meant to last forever. And guess what? It worked. Earthquakes. The pyramid survived. Floods. Still standing. Wars. Still there. 4,500 years of time itself. Barely weathered. Their shape distributes weight perfectly. The stone absorbs stress. The foundations are incredibly stable. Most human structures decay in centuries. The pyramids have outlasted empires. They weren't just monuments. They were engineered for eternity. 
The pyramids don't break the laws of physics. But they absolutely stretch our understanding of what ancient people could do. They force us to ask uncomfortable questions. Were ancient civilizations more advanced than we assume? Have we underestimated their knowledge? Are we missing key pieces of the puzzle? The pyramids are a reminder that history isn't a straight line. Progress isn't always linear. Human ingenuity didn't start with the iPhone. The mystery of the pyramids isn't about aliens. It's not about conspiracy theories. It's about us. What humans were capable of thousands of years ago. What knowledge might have been lost. And what we still don't understand about our own past. Because when you stand in the shadow of the Great Pyramid, one thing becomes absolutely clear. These weren't built for a single lifetime. They were built for all of history. And they're still waiting for us to figure them out. If this made you see the pyramids differently, hit that like button. And drop a comment, what's your theory on how they built these things? Subscribe if you want more mysteries that actually make you think. I'll see you in the next one.